obey the rendezvous. Airplanes come in from all directions, meet exactly as planned. No one wants to miss this first strafing of Rabaul. It's a date that's been a long time in the making, and at last the 5th Air Force is on its way to keep it. this day, a kind of soft pale green. The sky too is soft and it's blue as the blue of an infant's eyes. The white clouds are streaked with the faintest pink, making a pastel world. The weather is fair and warm, and it gets warmer closer to the water. You will fly at an altitude not to exceed 100 feet. You will maintain radio silence at all times, no matter what happens. a trick to play on the Japanese, a trick having to do with outwitting their radar installations. Maintaining low altitudes will bring the airplanes in under their radar beams. Radio silence will keep the air clear. It's a long ride. More than two hours have gone by. It's getting warmer, too. There it is, the coast of New Britain. Exactly on time and a welcome sight. Now let's go in and keep a date. First, Buna Canal. Japanese airplanes get off the ground. The fighters are waiting. There goes a Japanese hemp. The lightning is hot after him. There, what?
was a Japanese hemp, a plume of black smoke is its tombstone. And now, Rapopo. in flames. 100 grounded aircraft are destroyed, 51 greatly damaged, 26 Japanese airplanes are shot down. Aerodrome installations suffer heavy destruction. There is practically no interception, and ak, -AK is relatively weak and inaccurate. Once again, the Japanese were surprised. At WIWAC's 17th August, it was the Japanese Army Air Service. At Rabaul, 12th October, it was the Japanese Naval Air Service. Each apparently suffers from the same weakness. Each seems to lack the resilience to cope with the various elements of surprise. The 12th of October mission to Rabaul was successful because of the planned series of missions that preceded it. Every serviceable combat airplane of the 5th Air Force, fighters, bombers, troop carriers, went out day after day, the same squadrons, the same pilots, the same crews in the same airplanes. Day after day, they hit the same targets, strips cut out of the jungle, installations hidden under coconut trees. No great cities, no factories, no geometrical spectacles of fire and smoke. Just more jungle and more coconuts. What is a mission? A mission is part of a plan, the product of intelligence, imagination, courage, sleepless nights. A mission will start months before the day of the strike with the scratching of a fighter strip deep in the jungle. It will call for ground and naval operations. It will require the full cooperation of the man with the shovel and the wrench, the laboratory and the drafting board. It will bring death and pain and the unshed tears of friends and the bewildered sorrow of mothers and fathers. In payment for that, there can be only one last definition. A mission is a step forward on the long and carefully mapped road to victory. <laughs> <laughs>